there's an interesting time that happens as kids become formal operational and they still develop. As if their spirituality involved um, conformist beliefs, they become disenchanted with these formist beliefs, but they haven't developed enough to begin to have deeper spirituality. And so there's a lot of existential angst that happens around this time. And so what kind of music do 17 and 18 year olds start liking? They start liking dark music. They start liking everything sucks music. I mean, no offense to those recent teenagers, or actually we have a teenager. <laughs> I apologize, <laughs> but you know. You know, they start liking music where, look, this is fucking kick ass. That's fun. You know, that feels like it has power. Or, you know, let's look at music, let's, let's look at the music or the, or the art that challenges these old systems that we don't believe in anymore. As they grow, if they deepen in their spirituality, they start feeling that there's something beneath their thoughts, something beneath their body. They start feeling a deeper spirituality. And that leads them here. World-centric green, pluralistic. A lot of kids hit that in college. And this was a perfect storm in 1966, 67, 68, 69. We had a government that was taking our 18-year-olds, sending them across the ocean to kill people they didn't know. Yeah, well, we don't have a draft. And if we, have, if we had a draft happening during these last five or 10 years, we would have seen rioting in the streets. And okay, so the draft, draft came out of World War II. And so they went, are you kidding? And the violence that came out of that was extraordinary. Why? You know, you can't do that to us. You know, but it was happening. And that, that became a, an, an interesting pathology that happened with pluralism. You don't tell me what to do, okay? You don't tell me what to do is like me. Okay? But you don't tell me what to do because I don't want to hurt the world. That combination is what Ken Wilber called boomeritis, which was pathological narcissism grafted onto pluralism. <laughs> pathological narcissism grafted onto pluralism, you know, created the excesses of the 70s. So this is how we develop individually. You notice we also develop socially. There's different social uh, arrangements in each one of these worldviews. That's also how we develop psychosexually. First stage is normal for these, for these areas. Second stage is normal going into green. Third stage, second tier. Morally, little girls develop from selfie to care for people around them to care for everybody. And then, if they keep growing, they want care and rights for everybody. Little boys go from selfish to rights for the people around them, rights for every, everybody, and if they keep growing, integrated rights. And this is uh, Lawrence Kohlberg, who developed um, six stages of moral development, now has the seventh stage. And the reason why he didn't have seven stages before is that when he did his original studies, there were so few people that had that worldview that he couldn't find anybody, he couldn't study them. They didn't stand out, because that's how developmentalists do it. They use a whole bunch of people in a test room. What is the sixth one? The seventh one is when you basically have a spirituality, not conformance spirituality, but, but a universal care, universal rights, um, being an instrument of spirit on earth worldview that guides your, mor your morality. That there are principles and values that are based in something that is universal and deep. And if you talk to people that continue, Dalai Lama is a good example. If you talk to people that, that the Pope is an, is an interesting example. There's certain offices, there's certain positions that magnetize people into deeper levels of development. And the papacy is one of those things, and the, being the Dalai Lama is another one of those things. Be, the American presidency is another thing. You know, there's a lot of policies now coming out of the Bush administration that would be progressive and completely anathema seven or eight years ago. But the presidency forces people to become more pluralistic. Now, you know, they, they got dragged kicking and screaming into that, but, but it ha has, ha has happened. And even now, you know, the response to the recent financial collapse is a pluralistic response, international people talking and so on. There's certain, in other words, being a therapist pulls us to being integral while we're being therapists. 
There's certain institutions, there's certain forms that pull us into different levels of development. Being a parent pulls us into being more caring. Now, we can have peak experiences at any point along this way. But stage shifts, stable shifts, go through progressive worldviews. 